वेलकम डियर लेसनर्स आई होप यू विल बी फाइन हैप्पी एंड हेल्थी एंड यू विल बी बिजी इन योर एक्टिविटीज व्हाट्स द वेदर लाइक डियर लेसनर्स या इट्स वेरी कोल्ड इट्स कोल्ड एंड रेनी सो व्हाट्स द वेदर लाइक जब हम मौसम के बारे में पूछते हैं सो व्हाट्स द वेदर लाइक और हाउ इज द वेदर we will discuss some common thing also in the beginning of the class so we can use it in this way uh, today dear uh, viewers uh, we will begin uh, practical language page 13 uh, level 1 and unit 1 the last activity of unit 1 we will discuss today so uh, here we are talking about classroom instruction classroom mean classroom and instruction mean hidayat uh, what does hidayat mean brother के डू समथिंग आर डोंट डू समथिंग डू समथिंग आर डोंट डू समथिंग कुछ करो या न करो यही हिदायत है हिदायत भी एम्पेरेटिव सेंटेंस की एक किस्म है हुक्मी या जुमलों की एक किस्म है डू आर डोंट डू एज यूजली हिदायत ये करो ये न करो दिस इज कॉल्ड हिदायत इन इंस्ट्रक्शन लेट्स फर्स्ट रीड दीज बुक वन एंड देन वी विल एक्सप्लेन इट रिपीट फ्रॉम मी डियर ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर्स लेसन टू मी से दिस वर्ल्ड टेक आउट अ पीस ऑफ पेपर गेव मी गेव मी योर पेपर या गिव मी योर पेपर open your books open your books look at the pictures look at the pictures close your books close your books put away your books put away your books put your books away then they have also given negative instruction or don't open your books or don't look at the picture Yeah. So, dear viewers, as we said that instruction mean hidayat, and instruction mean do something or don't do something. So, an instruction usually the sentence begin with verb first form. We mean verb and a one mean first form. From the base form of the verb, or from the lexical form of the verb, or from the first form of the verb, and after that, rest of the sentence is there. Rest of the sentence mean bakiman da jumla. We will write shortly R S for rest of the sentence in the next activities. Bakiman da jumla pir ham bayan kar lenge. Or jab ham hidayat when we are talking about instruction, so you is understood. You is understood. Then we don't use you. Uh, but we directly begin it from the verb and after verb then there is a rest of the sentence baqiman da jumla hota hai after verb but you is understood kyunki hum agar kisi ko hidayat kisi kaam ke karne ya na karne ke bare mein kehte hain so the person must be in front of us if someone is not here and uh, this uh, room is suppose empty uh, no one is here and uh, i say bring me a glass of water so that is an action of a crazy person or a mad person because uh, we give instruction to someone who is in front of us but usually we don't say tum pani lao but we hum kehte hai glass pani lao iska matlab ye hai ki tum ek glass pani lao so you is understood over here so when we say uh, that uh, idrao so what will we say come here come here, come here mean tum idrao uh, similarly uh, a glass pani lao god bring me a glass of water uh, bring me a cup of tea ek cup chai lao aur jo bhi lana la lane ka mana bring hai uh, darwaza kholo god kitab kholo open your box god darwaza band kar lo close your uh, close the door or uh, close your box yeah uh, pani piyo drink water uh, drink water chai piyo take tea take tea dawai khao take, take the medicine tasveer nikalo take the picture you take uh, there are four uh, verb uh, dear viewers and listener one is take uh, one is get uh, and one is have and do as well and uh, be as well these four five six verb they are called dialectical verb what kind of verb dialectical verb dialectical verb mean uh, that uh, we can use these verb in different places uh, for different 
meaning. According to the context, they give different meaning. For example, take tea, so chai pio, take medicine, dawai khao, take lunch, lunch, dopeher ka khana khao. Similarly, take picture, tasweer nikalo, take a test, test karlo, ya test do, take the paper, paper de do. سو ایک لپس ہے لیکن مختلف جگہوں میں مختلف معنی دیتے ہیں سیمیلرلی گیٹ ہیف اینڈ ڈو وی ویل ڈسکس ایٹ ان دا کمنگ لیسن ان ڈیٹیل بٹ ایٹ گیو ڈیپرنٹ میننگ ایکارڈنگ ٹو دا سیچویشن اینڈ وین وی گیو نیگیٹیف انسٹرکشن ڈیر ویورز اینڈ لیسنر سو دین وی بیگین پرام ورٹ ڈونٹ ڈونٹ اینڈ آفٹر ڈونٹ بیس فارم آف دا ورم آر ور پسٹ فارم وی یوز اینڈ آفٹر دیٹ وی یوز ریسٹ آف دا سیننس ریسٹ آف دا سیننس فار ایگزمپل وقت ضائع نہ کرو ڈونٹ ویسٹ یور ٹائم یا جھوٹ نہ بولو ڈونٹ ٹھیلا لائی پھولوں کو مت توڑو ڈونٹ فلک دا فلار گوڈ اینڈ مجھے تنگ نہ کرو ڈونٹ بادر می ڈونٹ ٹیز می ڈونٹ بادر بلال ڈونٹ بادر یو مدر ڈونٹ بادر مین یو کین ٹاک اباؤٹ اینی پوسن سیمیلرلی دائے بائے دے کے بغیر روڈ کو کراس نہ کرو ڈونٹ کراس دا روڈ بیپور لکنگ لیفٹ اینڈ رائٹ mean you should cross the road uh, before looking le uh, uh, left and right cigarette na piyo don't smoke cigarette shor na karo don't good baatein na karo don't talk in the class good push push to aur urdu ek dusre ke sath na bolo push to aur urdu we di chadar in the language class aur for the practice sake aur english bolo ek dusre se english mein baatein kar lo speak english with each other speak english with each other so instruction the summary of the lesson is that dear viewers that there are two type of instruction one type of instruction is a positive instruction which begin directly from our first form and then rest of the sentence and another kind of instruction instruction is a negative instruction uh, which uh, usually begin from don't and then our first form and then rest of the sentence and if we think deeply so most of our lives uh, mean uh, in our lives or uh, 20% talking as a uh, uh, instruction ye karo ye na karo sare din hamare uh, bachon ko talba ko uh, ya mukhtalif logon ko yahi hote hai ke ye kar lo ye na kar lo to if we use these word these are simple word you already you have this vocabulary but due to the lack of practice uh, we can't uh, use such word so uh, as you we have started the language course and language is basically a skill and skill can, can be developed through practice for example a tailoring is a skill and uh, a tailor become more and more expert when he uh, sew the clothes more and more similarly driving is a skill and a driver can become an expert when he drives more and more in the beginning it is very difficult for him to drive properly Uh, so similar is the case of the language language is also a skill in the beginning there will be a little bit difficult for you to speak uh, uh, the world the world won't come to your mouth your mouth uh, will feel a difficulty when you are pronouncing the word but inshallah then after level one level two a time will come that you won't feel whether I am speaking English or my mother tongue So try to continue your practice, uh, try to watch the videos again and again and uh, try to watch in a proper sequence. If you have missed uh, the other 10 uh, uh, videos which we have already done, so you should, you should watch them as well and in this way I hope uh, you will reach your target which is uh, speaking English like uh, our mother tongue and which is success in our future life. Inshallah it will come with our this struggle. Thank you so much. much for watching the video and also or uh, try to share the videos with your near and dear uh, one to so that they can also benefit from uh, them thanks a lot uh, welcome uh, dear brother and uh, sisters uh, today we I hope you will be fine happy and healthy uh, today we will begin a uh, presentation 18 Uh, greeting and farewell again but informal
we will talk about greeting salam wa adab we discuss greeting so many time what does greeting mean salam wa adab a farewell khuda hafiz khuda hafiz jaise hum kisi ko rukhsat karte hain so khuda hafiz but they are informal they are what informal informal mean غیر رسمی غیر رسمی ار دوز وچ وی یوزلی وین وی گریٹ وتھ اور فرینڈز وین وی گریٹ وتھ اور کلاس فیلو وین وی گریٹ دا سیم ایج بوائز وین دیر از نو وی ڈونٹ فالو رولز ریگولیشن سو وی یوز ان فارمل لینگویج دین ان فارمل لینگویج وی یوز وین دیر از دا کیئر آف رولز ریگولیشن اینڈ سملرلی ان دس ایکٹیویٹی وی ول یوز ہاؤ ایز So what is the contraction form of how is? How's. Who's so? Yehi hai. Who? We discussed the yesterday. W-H-O. Who? How is? So the contraction form of who is is who's. Who's mean koon hai. Who's mean koon hai. And today we will talk about how is. So what's the contraction form of how is? How's. How's mean kaisa hai. Kesa he house. Uh, we will pronounce it house. A uh, house. And this one we will pronounce it whose. Whose. Here I told you W H silent here. But here how is house. We will pronounce it ha uh, house. So house mean kesa he. Uh, so in an formal uh, greeting, usually uh, we say hi and hello. We discussed uh, the, uh, in the second lesson uh, that hi and hello uh, we use for salam as well, but that is informal. For example, in our locality also there are different type of uh, salam, pakhirale, strale mashi and pashto. Pakhachare also the former usually you, you, you usually use this one also khachare pakhirale ya strale mashi khude diubakha. All these are uh, informal greeting. Right. So uh, similarly in English also there is informal greeting. So informal is uh, Hi Bilal, how's everything? Mean Assalamu Alaikum Bilal, halat kaise hai? Sab kuch kaise hai? Ya hello Bilal, how's everything? Both we you can use. Uh, so what will Bilal say then? Fine thanks, how's everything? Good. Uh, fine thanks, fine me to teak ho thanks. Aapka shukriya ke aapne mere halat ke baare mein poocha. How's everything with you? Aapki halat kaise hai? So what will uh, Bilal answer? Uh, what will A answer the first person? Great. Means sab kuch zabardast hai. Bohut achche hai. Fine. Sab kuch achche hai. Okay. Sab kuch teek hai. A great mean bohut achche. Fine. Is se zara kama or okay mean aam halat par hai. So uh, here uh, we use informal greeting in this way. I'll play one role. You will play another role. Right? Uh, hi uh, brothers and sisters. How's everything? Fine. How's everything with you? Good. Great. Hi, Arshad. How's everything? Fine, thanks. How's everything with you? Uh, fine. Uh, hi, Khalid. How's everything? Fine, thanks. How's everything with you? Okay. Now, you, uh, you should ask me. Hi, sir. How's everything? Yeah. Uh, fine. Uh, how's everything with you? Great. Good. Again. Hi sir, how's everything? Yeah, fine, thanks. How's everything with you, uh, Bilal? Fine. Fine, good. And when we uh, want to fart each other, uh, when there is, uh, so then we will say farewell. A uh, farewell, Khuda Hafiz kahenge. And, and informally, a uh, farewell is uh, this one. Uh, well, well mean teak hai. Well, bye Bilal, see you later. Well, bye Bilal, see you soon, see you t next time, see you tomorrow, see you at 5 o'clock. What time you want to discuss, so you will say. It is also just like the formal one. Uh, see you later mean khuda kare ke baad mein mulaqat ho jaye. See you soon khuda kare ke jald mulaqat ho jaye. Uh, see you tomorrow khuda kare ke kal mulaqat ho jaye. Uh, see you next time. Khuda kare ke hamara meeting aam tawar par dusri dapa jab hooti hai. To isi wakht mulaqat ho jaye. See you at 8 o'clock. Khuda kare ke 8 baje mulaqat ho jaye. To joo bhi time aap kehna chahte hai. So what will the second person answer? Ya. Very good. Ya. See you then. Take care. Ya mean. Ya is the informal form of yes. 
या एज द एन पामल पाम ऑफ वर्ड्स येस या एंड आईएस आईएस मीन हा या यू वॉन्ट से एच इज म्यूट हेयर या न कहो या जैसे हम आम तौर पर या कहते हैं या सी यू डेंट टेक केयर खुदा करे कि इसी वक्त मुलाकात हो जाए जो आपने मुझे बता दिया और आप अपना ख्याल रखें तो पहला बंदा बी कहते हैं कि यू टू तुम भी अपना ख्याल रखो टू का माना बी है इस टू का माना है यू टू तुम भी अपना ख्याल रखो लेट्स डू एट टुगेदर डियर व्यूअर्स वेल बाई बिलाल सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम Yeah, see you next video. Uh, you too. Well, bye, Aisha. Uh, see you soon. Yeah, see you soon. Good. Uh, you too. Now you ask me. Well, bye, sir. See you next time. Oh uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, see you then. Take care. You too. Uh, you too. So in this way, uh, you will do the informal uh, introduction. Uh, let's do it uh, uh, once again. Our informal, not introduction. Sorry, brother. Informal greeting. We will do in this way. Uh, hi, Bilal. How's everything? Fine, thanks. Fine, thanks. Uh, pretty good. Are great. Are fine. Everyone, you can say. Well, bye, Bilal. See you later. Yeah. Uh, you too. Uh, you should, uh, dear viewers and listener, uh, practice upon it as much as possible so that it become a part of your language. Usually now it is easy, but when we ask, uh, when we uh, say somebody to us, "Hi Bilal, how's everything?" So then usually we get uh, confused that what should I answer now? So it, you know, we should practice so much that we should learn it there to directly answer him, find things in you. and the other one say just fine uh, usually it's also happen uh, that uh, when one person say uh, good afternoon bilal how are you today ya yeah, hi bilal how are you today so bilal only say fine things and he doesn't say and you aisa nahi kehta hai ki tum ke just say fine things me to theek ho aapka shukriya aur fir baat khatam karte hain to isi par baat khatam nahi karna chahiye balki iske baad and you kehni chahiye ki aapne mere bare mein poocha to main aapke bare mein bhi poochna chahta hu and you aur tum kaise ho so the other one will say just fine then i think you will have learned this try to practice upon it as much as possible thank you so much for